I am a warrior and a survivor. I spent hours in this house. Seemed like an eternity. The majority of the abuses that happened here on these grounds were sexual abuse. I have triggers some days, every day. I still carry a lot of hurt, anger, shame, fear, disgust. You never forget this experience. It's an experience in childhood that you will bring to your grave. Um, you okay? Yeah, yeah, it's, it's, it's how I was just thinking it all start piling up on me. You what know, does? You know, the feeling, you know, the nasty feelings that I, you gotta process. Sometimes it's, it's, uh, it's easy to let it pass like a stream, you know, just go by. Other times it just kind of gets you down. Today we are in the chapel, still standing on the site of a former residential school. Orange shirt day for me is every day. We don't get to take the shirt off and forget. Orange Shirt Day is a day to recognize the impacts residential schools have had on Indigenous families and communities. It's recognition for what my residential school brothers and sisters endured. This is about now and the intergenerational effect that we live with today. I feel Orange Shirt Day is an opportunity to engage in discussion about some really hard topics. It is an opportunity to express how we want the education system to change, not only for Indigenous students, but for all students. I think Orange Shirt Day is a small step towards healing, a step towards acknowledgement, a step towards inclusiveness. Today, my healing is to educate the educators, educate the governments, educate society. I want to ensure that no other person who is Indigenous faces culture loss and is left with a really broken identity. We have an opportunity to really put ourselves out there in front of everyone in a very bright color and let people know that we are still here we are proud of where we came from. We have suffered and we're ready to reclaim what is traditionally ours and in new ways.